Today we will learn how to install macOS 15 on your Mac without losing your data or the existing operating system. Hello friends and welcome back to MZ Learning. Friends, Apple today announced the next version of macOS called macOS Sequoia. This new operating system is currently available in a developer beta version. This means it might have some bugs. But if you can't wait like me to test its new feature without waiting for the final version, then I highly recommend you install it on a separate partition. This is the safest way to test out the new macOS 15 without compromising your current data and keeping your already installed macOS for important work. And here is the step by step guideline. The first thing you need to do is check your Mac compatibility with macOS 15. Like other operating systems, macOS 15 has some hardware limitations, so not every Mac can run it. For your convenience, I have provided a list of compatible computers in the video description. If your computer is on the list, then feel free to proceed to step number 2. In step 2, ensure that you have enough storage space on your Mac for the installation. Your Mac should have 30-35 GB of free hard drive space for a smooth installation. After that, the next step is backup your important data. Although this procedure is very safe, but it's always a good idea to backup your Mac before installing any beta software. This way, if something goes wrong during or after installation, you can restore your data from your backup. You can backup your Mac using Time Machine or another backup method of your choice. Once you have checked your Mac compatibility, storage space and backed up your data, you have to create a new APFS volume on your Mac. To do so, please open your Disutility app. Disutility app is located in the Utilities folder of your Application folder. Once the Disutility app is open, Navigate to the view menu and select show all devices. On the left hand side, select the container disk of your hard drive and then click on the plus icon in the toolbar. Provide a name for the new volume and click on the add button to create it. That's all. A new APFS volume will be created on your hard drive. Finally, close the disk utility app and proceed to the next step. For the next step, we require macOS 15 full installer. As I said before, macOS 15 is currently in developer beta version. So it means it's not available on App Store. But don't worry, you can download the macOS 15 full installer for free. I have created a step by step video on this topic. The link is in the video description. Anyway, after downloading macOS 15 full installer, Go to your application folder and click on the macOS 15 installer. Now click on the continue button, agree to macOS 15 terms and condition and on this page click on show all disks. Now select the APFS volume you created earlier and click the continue button. Enter your login password and hit the enter key and that's all. The installer will start installing macOS 15 on the new APFS volume. This is the first step of the installation. Once it's done, your computer will restart and the second and final step of the installation will begin. This whole process can take 20 to 25 minutes. It's depend on your hardware configuration. So be patient. During this time, your computer may restart several times, which is normal. So please don't worry. The entire process is automatic and require no action on your side. So please sit back and relax. When the installation is complete, you can use the new macOS 15 without affecting your old operating system. So friends, this is how you can install macOS 15 developer beta on your Mac. As soon as macOS 15 is installed, I will make a video of its new feature and tips and tricks. So please keep in touch and subscribe to MZ Learning. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.